Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to welcome you to the launching ceremony of the commemorative personal stamps on the 50th anniversary of diplomatic relations between Cyprus and Australia. This is a special occasion and we thank you for your presence here today. Our first speaker today is Mr. Sofronis Chartas, Deputy Director of the Cyprus Post, who will present the special stamps. We take the opportunity to thank Cyprus Posts for embracing this project with enthusiasm and for creating these unique designs. Mr. Chartas, you have the floor. Dear Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Cyprus, Your Excellency High Commissioner of Australia and Cyprus, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is with pleasure that I welcome you in today's event on the occasion of the issue by the Cyprus Post of an anniversary personal stamp to mark 50 years of diplomatic relations between the Republic of Cyprus and Australia. Cyprus relations with Australia are not limited to 50 years of diplomatic relations, but go back many years to the years of the great immigration of Cypriots to this beautiful and hospitable country. These relations start from the end of the 19th century until the first years after the Turkish invasion in 1974, where thousands of our compatriots found a country that supported them and gave them the opportunity for a new beginning and smooth, smooth integration into society and economy of their new homeland while preserving the history and custom of their own homeland. The issue of today's anniversary stamp, which is beautiful and symbolic reference from the history and culture of the two countries, comes to attribute in the best possible way the friendship and the cooperation of our people, but at the same time, the, pro the process for, for further cooperation. Finally, I would, like, I would like to express my thanks to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Cyprus for the cooperation we had during the, the issue of the stamp, as well as well, to my colleagues who devoted time and effort to this end. Thank you. Now, we would like to call to the podium His Excellency the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Kostandinos Kombos, to deliver his remarks on this special event. Mr. Minister, you have the floor. Uh, dear, <coughs> dear High Commissioner, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, uh, it's with great pleasure that I welcome you to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in celebration of the 50th anniversary of establishment of diplomatic relations between the Republic of Cyprus and the Commonwealth of Australia. Today's event is an opportunity to reflect on the quality of relations between our two countries and to look to the future of our, of our ever deepening friendship. Since 1973, the relations between the two countries have grown steadily and are underpinned by three factors. Firstly, through Cypriot migration to Australia. Today, Australia hosts the second largest Cypriot group of diaspora with over 80,000 residents of Cypriot descent. The Cypriot community remains active, successful, vibrant, and stands out for its important contribution to all aspects of the Australian society. Secondly, we have a shared commitment to the principles enshrined in the UN Charter and the common values rooted in international law and we continue to work closely together in many international organizations, including the United Nations and the Commonwealth. Lastly, the 50th anniversary of diplomatic relations is also an occasion to honor Australia's significant contribution to the United Nations peacekeeping force in Cyprus, as hundreds of Australian peacekeepers served in military, civilian, and policing roles in our country from 1964 up until 2021. I take this opportunity to reiterate our deep appreciation for Australia's support to the sovereignty and territorial integrity of the Republic of Cyprus and its commitment to a just and lasting solution to the Cyprus question in accordance with UN Security Council resolutions and public international law. To mark the 50 years of diplomatic relations between Cyprus and Australia, we are presenting today a set 
of commemorative personal stamps issued by the Cyprus Post. The stamps celebrate the artistic legacy of the two countries and highlight the nature of our bilateral relationship. For 50 years, Cyprus and Australia have worked in unison to build and enhance our strong bilateral connection. And we are proud of what we have achieved and we look forward to the many opportunities that lie ahead. Thank you very much. Now, we have the honor to invite, on behalf of the Australian Government, Her Excellency the High Commissioner of Australia and Cyprus, Ms. Fiona Magerko, for her remarks. Madam High Commissioner, you have the floor. Thank you, and uh, thank you to the Minister and to the uh, representative from, from Cyprus Post. Um, colleagues, Your Excellency, my fellow diplomatic uh, corps, and some of those more prominent Australians that have been around here for a while, uh, it's great to have you all here today uh, to help celebrate this quite significant initiative. It's a great way and an enduring way to mark 50 years of very valued diplomatic relations. And it's 50 years underpinned by 100 years of migration, of the people-people link, links that really define the relationship. And stamps, in many ways, like people, are symbolisms of the links between communities. They connect families and friends through letters full of love, life, and often grief. We have a great story on this island, actually, about a correspondence, uh, a series of 34 letters that were exchanged between a Cypriot man, Neophytus Charolombos, who travelled to Australia in 1962. And he got engaged over a letter containing a photo of a young woman, seven years his junior, uh, from the village of Maroni, Eleni Giorgio. And they never met, but they proceeded to have a long and lengthy courtship through the exchange of 134 letters full of stories of his new life, their love and their longing to be together. And those letters still exist today, and they're contained in rather tatty envelopes uh, with Cypriot and Australian stamps. So it's really a great pleasure to be able to launch a new stamp that marks the relationship. Um, it's a year when we actually recognise our community, and as the Minister said, 80,000 Cypriots live in Australia, and they've made quite a significant contribution to modern society and to our economic and social fabric in Australia. From those that arrived in the 1920s, I would argue they're probably the early venture capitalists that invested in Australia, to the more prominent Cypriots that have gone on to become lawyers, judges, advocates, political uh, commentators, MPs and developers. Um, they're the ones that have made Australia financially, culturally and more spiritually rich. And just like those Australians, past and present here in Cyprus, uh, they've also been working for the prosperity and stability of this island, whether it's towards the reunification and a solution to the Cyprus problem, whether it's in the good offices or UNFASIP, where we've lost, uh, sacrificed three Australians towards the peace in Cyprus. Um, it's well, whether it's looking at the political discourse and the contested policy discussions through our Cyprus academic dialogue, and for those, particularly in the foreign ministry, that are working to empower women and girls to be the next generation of Cypriot leaders. We've, we've had a lot of assistance also from Australians documenting and discovering Cyprus's own history through our archaeological efforts. And that, in some way, is why we've chosen the image of our uh, archaeological artefacts and our ancient history to commemorate this stamp. Lastly, I'd really like to thank the Minister in his uh, foreign ministry colleagues. Um, they've been working very hard with us, as has the uh, Cyprus Post, uh, to launch this stamp today. So I do thank you for all being here to mark the end of a very significant years of 50 years of diplomatic relations. Thank you. Postage stamps have always been symbols of connection and engagement between countries and peoples. At this point, we would like to invite in front of the podium His Excellency the Foreign Minister, Mr. Kostandinos Gombos, and Her Excellency the Australian High Commissioner, Ms. Fiona Magerko, for the official presentation of the personal stamps to commemorate the 50 years of diplomatic relations between Cyprus and Australia. 